Hello, everybody. Good morning. How are you today? I hope you're good and I hope you're ready for a story today. We're nearly ready for a story because we have lit our candle and that reminds us that Jesus is always with us. And we need to say hello to our special friend. And our special friend today is Bobby. Let's say hello to Bobby. Bobby, come on. How are you? Here he is. Hi. Good to see you. It's good to be here with everybody, isn't it? Yes. Let's sing hello to Bobby. Hello, Bobby. Hello, Bobby. Hello, Bobby. How are you today? Really good. Fantastic. Well, we're going to start off today by looking at a picture. Here's the picture. Now, I wonder if you can tell me what this is a picture of. It looks to me like it's a garden, some kind of garden or perhaps a farm. Um, what do you think is growing in this garden? Do you know? Do you know what's growing in this garden? Shall I tell you? Growing in that garden are lots and lots of grapes. And the special name for a grape garden is a vineyard. It's a special grape garden called a vineyard. Have you ever seen grapes growing in a vineyard anywhere? I usually see grapes in a box in the supermarket and then they come in my fridge and we eat them up for our snacks, don't we? But they grow in hot countries, so we don't get to see them in this country very often. And sometimes they're in greenhouses. Perhaps you've seen them when you've been on holiday to a hot country or perhaps you've seen them growing somewhere in this country. Do you like grapes? We like grapes, don't we? What sort of things are grapes used for? Can you think what sort of things do we use grapes for? Well, we have them as a snack, don't we? And they can be made into grape juice and they can be made into wine. And when they're dried out, they turn into raisins and sultanas. They're another good healthy snack, aren't they? Yeah. Here now is a close up picture of some grape vines. Have a look at the way they grow. Can you see the branches and can you see the leaves? And can you see the yummy, juicy grapes? Each bunch of grapes comes from one of the branches. And each of the branches is connected to the grapevine. Now, what do you think would happen if one of the branches was cut off and wasn't connected to the rest of the vine? What would happen? Well, the branch would die, wouldn't it? And no grapes would grow. The branch needs to be connected to the vine because it gets everything it needs from the vine. And then the grapes will grow. One of the things that Jesus said about himself was, I am the true vine. I am the true vine. What a funny thing for Jesus to say about himself. Perhaps he was strolling through the vineyard one time with his disciples and his friends and he wanted a good way for them to remember what he was saying. And it's a good way for us to remember as well. I wonder what you think Jesus meant when he said, I am the true vine. He said, I am the true vine and you are the branches. What do you think he meant by that? I am the true vine and you are the branches. Well, Jesus meant that like the branches of a grapevine need to be connected to the vine, we need to be connected to Jesus too. And just as the branches get everything they need from the vine, we can get everything we need from Jesus. And just like the juicy grapes on the vine, Jesus wants us 
to produce good fruit. Good fruit. We're going to produce good fruit. What sort of fruit do you think Jesus was talking about? Well, I don't think he was talking about grapes and apples and oranges. Rather, Jesus was talking about how our lives can show good characteristics and good qualities. So what sort of good qualities and characteristics do you think we could have that Jesus wants us to show? The Bible tells us of the fruits that Jesus was talking about and they're things like love and joy and peace. Other fruits are patience and kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. Now these kind of fruits often pop up in school and in our homes and our, our after school clubs and activities. So see if you can look out for those things this week. Have a look out for some love and peace and joy, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control this week. We will, won't we? Certainly. Can you imagine what our homes would be like if we were full with those fruits? Can you imagine what our school would be like if there were, if we were producing those fruits all the time? And imagine what our community or our town of Stockport would be like. What would the country be like if we would, we would produce fruits all the time as well? That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Lovely. Bobby, I'm going to sit you down a minute because we need to roll our hands and sing our quiet song before we say our prayer. Are you rolling your hands with me? Super job. Running over, running over, my cup's full and running over. Since the Lord loves me, I'm as happy as can be. My cup's full and running over. Running over, running over, my cup's full and running over. Since the Lord loves me, I'm as happy as can be. My cup's full and running over. Let's have some quiet time while we say our prayer and we talk to God. Dear God, we thank you for lovely, juicy grapes. Please help us to stay connected to you. Please help us to ask you for the things we need. And please help us to grow the fruits of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control within us. Amen. Lovely. Thanks for being with us this morning. It's good to be here. We're going to say bye bye now. Let's say bye bye to Bobby. Bye bye, Bobby. See you soon. Bye bye, everybody. And bye bye for Marie. I think, Bobby, we've worked really hard this morning and I think we probably need to go and get a snack, do we? Should we go and get some grapes? Great idea. See you soon, everyone. Bye.